Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. Welcome to your Do They Miss You reading. This will be a seven card spread, having a look to see if there's someone you were once connected to romantically, um, if they're missing you. This could be an ex-lover, this could be an ex-spouse, this could be someone you had a short-term relationship with or even a long-term relationship with. This could be um, insightful to see how they're still feeling, um, if there's still emotions there and if there is a possible reconciliation on the horizon between the two of you. Now, just want to say thank you for all your support. If you enjoy this video, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, or comment. I really would appreciate that. Thank you so much for being here, Libra. Let's get straight into it and see. Do they miss you? So if there's anyone out there under what sign are they missing you? Are they thinking about you, Libra? Do they miss you, Libra? Okay, the hangman. Someone's definitely feeling imbalanced uh, without you. They feel introverted. They feel something has been turned upside down. Their world has been turned upside down, their emotions. Um, you know, something's not flowing upright with them. So I feel like there's introverted energy. So either they're not revealing much to anyone around them. Um, perhaps they're not being very open. Perhaps they're withdrawing. You know, the hangman is about things being left in suspension. So I really feel like something's in suspense here. So for those that have sort of concluded something with someone and there hasn't been much talk, there hasn't been much closure, or there hasn't been sufficient reasons given as to why you've instigated the breakup or why they've instigated the breakup, the hangman is really um, showing that for some of you Librans out there, there is someone that is still held in suspense so they're feeling they're still held in suspense um, and I think it's from you so you've somehow caused these feelings of this person feeling introverted um, or they're feeling like things aren't going upright things aren't flowing like they're, su they're, they're supposed to um, maybe they're wanting friendship maybe they're wanting closure but I feel like at this point in time this person is feeling like um Things are completely upside down. So I think everything's reversed for them. They're going through quite a reversed energy. Um, you know, energy really ebbs and flows. So I feel like if you have encountered quite a nasty breakup or quite an emotionally intense, intensely fueled breakup, I think this it's affected this person in other areas of their life, in their career, their personal life, their day-to-day um, I don't think they're ready to date or they're ready to get with someone or emotionally commit to them um, as yet is what I'm seeing. For others, of course, this person might have already moved on. But with the hangman, I feel like, you know, they're still introverted. They're still questioning things. They're still in suspense or they're still wanting closure from you um, in some regard here. But I think, you know, this is devastation as well for some. So I feel like there is devastation coming through with the hangman. Um <clears throat> okay five five of pentacles taurus capricorn virgo someone didn't see it coming you know five of pentacles she's shying away from what's looming in front of her the big issue the big problem whatever has happened in your relationship the earth sign it could be any sign really but it is associated with earth energy the earth sign is shutting away their eyes they're not ready to open up um and see their newly created world, that the star of creation sits above her. So I feel as though there's an earth sign female or male that isn't ready to accept um, what's going on around them, the set of circumstances. So I feel like there's lack of acceptance or, you know, there's narrow-mindedness because when we're blind, we can't see, we can't be open, we can't be receptive. So I feel like someone is shutting themselves away. Now, this could be the same person, this could be different people here, but I feel like someone sort of shut, either shut their heart to love, um, shut themselves off to their friends or their family, and they haven't revealed or they, they refuse to accept how things have en how things have ended or what was said or what was done. You know, this is refusal. It's devastation. It's feeling lack. It's feeling limited. So someone, um, limited, sorry. So someone feels limited in a way or restricted. Um, maybe they can't approach you now because you've moved on, Libra. Um, maybe they can't move forward right now because the way things ended, it seems very certain or very cemented. And right now I feel like there's no room for this person to move um, with this five of pentacles energy. It's feeling like you're missing something, feeling like you're not seeing something. So I feel like they feel really um, devastated or, or limited or restricted, if that makes any sense for any of you out there. Okay, King of Cups shows attachments and emotions, especially coming from water signs. 
Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, but it is an indicator of love, affection, um, <clears throat> feeling like um, this connection was very intense. For some of you, there is a water sign out there who's missing you dearly, who is still in love with you, Libra. Now, whether or not they've told you this or they've told anyone around them, maybe they've um, tried to deny their feelings. You know, this could be suppression. This could be denial. But deep down, there's still care or attachment or love. And they might not show these things as well. As I said, there's restriction or suspension. Something is not being out, out in the sun. Something is not being... Um, put out there something is not being freed emotions thoughts words but really deep down on some level this person still cares um especially if it is a water sign you know you see this this what looks like a merman god and he emerges from the deep blue so i feel like this is something that's very hidden or something that's very deep or close to their chest um and maybe they have been trying to deny their own feelings in a way um trying to suppress their own feelings but really I think deep down there's there's still there's still care there's still attachment there's still sentimentality and there's still memories um, of you or of your relationship and or connection okay the six of pentacles more earth energy Taurus Capricorn or Virgo I'm seeing um, that there's a release here so I feel like there's an emotional release that needs to happen on this on um, this person's behalf the six of pentacles is inundation I feel like you will this person is either be going to feeling uh, they they're coming to a point where they're suppressing and they're bottling up their feelings so much they're going to come to a point where they feel extremely overwhelmed overwhelmed by emotions overwhelmed by thoughts overwhelmed by memories of you, overwhelmed by communication from you or from their communication to you. You know, to go from the five of six of pentacles, this is some sort of growth or emotional release that's to happen on this person, um, on, on this person's end. Whether or not you'll hear from them um, and they'll give you this outpour of emotion, this flowing of emotion. Um, but this is generosity and care. So I almost feel like if you're still connected to someone you talk to about, they've done something or will do something that show they care. Whether it's subliminal, whether it's direct, I feel like there's something that will happen from this person's end and you will see that they still care about you in some way, Libra. Now, this could be helping you with money. This could be helping you with material possessions, helping you to move, helping you to find a job, um, helping you, uh, you know, set you up with someone. Whatever it is that they're doing, it's coming from a good place, which is what I'm sensing. Now, of course, for some of you, this won't resonate. Maybe there's a lot of hatred or a lot of, you know, uh, there's there's no wanting to reconcile or wanting for help or care or assistance in some way. But I think for those that have been married um, or still have assets or children that are connected under your names, I feel like with these pentacle cards coming through, this is um, assistance in finance or you being linked together in some regard because of investments, finances, assets, children um, or something of this kind here. But I do see a growth. You know, that change from five to the six of pentacles. Lovers card, Gemini coming through here. Especially those that have been engaged or married, you can see the doves um, beautifully whisking away this person's crown, which almost looks like a ring here. So I feel like for those that have been engaged or um, planning to get engaged or previously married to this person, they're very much still thinking about you. There's a lot of devastation this person is going through. So I definitely feel like you are either engaged or bounded or, or said to be wed. Um, I think there's a certain intensity coming in. The lover's card is soulmates and it's twin flames. So I really feel like there's a soulmate or twin flame that's missing you dearly. Um, there's a lot of devastation. So this person is genuinely hurt um, or devastated about the way things um happened or ended now of course as i said there's suppression and someone not seeing the bigger picture so of course it's someone that isn't able to commit um or admit to their wrong doing or it's someone that isn't able to register maybe what you did wrong in the relationship here because it's a suppression this is closing yourself off to something because you're not ready to see the big picture here so there's still someone that's thinking about you um you no know, lovers card it's intensity it's a twin flame soulmate connection here so i feel like there's someone that you, they're still attached to you either through investments you know there's still a link here through friendship 
but I think there's someone that's definitely missing your love, your affection, Libra, your, your breeziness, your outgoingness. You made them feel like a different person. And I feel like they feel different. They feel introverted. They don't feel like the same, you know, this column here. They don't feel like they're the best version of themselves because you made them feel one way. And now they feel incomplete or um, they feel introverted. They feel like everything has been turned upside down since your connection ended is what I'm seeing here. So they feel different than before. Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy coming through with the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is about movement um, up and away. What I'm seeing here is this person wants to leave behind the dark and go into the light. So they're wanting to have that transition. And I honestly think this transition takes place because the swan, the swan like um this one, like Bird, he uh, leaves, you know, is embarking on a journey, takes flight. So I feel like there's definitely some sort of change this person is going through. They're trying to leave behind the bitterness, the anger, the suppression, the negative or the toxic energies that were associated with this relationship. And they're trying to remember the good. They're trying to be hopeful, I think, in a way. But I think there's someone that's trying to leave and heal from this completely, Libra. You know, you're the swords. I feel like this person, if it is an air sign, or any sign really, I feel like they're trying to leave it behind. You know, they want to be carried away into the realm of happiness and they want to leave behind the dark ravens, um, you know, the uncertainty, the clouded judgment, the suppression. They're trying to do that. Um, I don't think right now, but they will be soon because I said there's a transition, there's a growth that's taking place here. Um, so I do think they'll be whisked away eventually and they'll be able to heal. It's just a matter of time or so. Um, but I think they're feeling a whirlwind of emotions right now. With the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Ten of Pentacles is solid foundations, seeing your vision, familiarity. For some of you, I feel like you'll reconcile with this person, but maybe not in a relationship again for some it will be some you might have another relationship maybe a better one this time around but I feel for some of you again it's like a family card the ten of pentacles so there's a notion of you being reconciled for a family event um or this person still feels familiar to you in some regard so either you work with them you know there's a, a working environment based on commerce so there's um, possibly you still see them through your career or you're still linked to them through business somehow or investments financial gains assets um, material possessions or something like this um, but it's solid foundations with the tower here with the ten of pentacles so someone's trying to build rebuild themselves um, is what I'm seeing in all honesty I feel like Maybe this isn't happening now, but I think it will happen soon. Um, they're trying to rebuild um, either your connection or they're trying to rebuild their life. Um, and they're trying to move away from the past, from the darkness, from, from things that weren't known into the light. So I feel like they're trying to rebuild themselves um, in a big way here, in a lot of different ways, a lot of different uh, facets of their life they're trying to change because remember they're an introverted energy so everything's been turned upside down and it's time I feel like they're picking themselves up, they're dusting themselves off and, and they're moving on, whether it's back to you or it's moving on and into healing which the king of cups can represent it's healing in emotion, it's being the governor of your own emotions, it's having that power within yourself to be able to dictate how you feel about a person, about a relationship, about a connection, etc. So look, I will leave it at that, Libra. I hope this has been insightful. Thank you once again for watching. Um, please feel free to like, share, subscribe or comment. Otherwise, hopefully we'll chat next week. Take care. Bye for now.